Hey everybody, it's Brian at Rain or Shine Golf, and in the month of September we've been focusing on golf mats and uh, the more popular mats that we sell here at Rain or Shine Golf. And in that category, it's the True Strike, the Fiber Built, and the Real Field Country Club Elite. And the previous videos, we've discussed more of the data and um, that we noticed with our testing and how to uh, install them, set up, and some pros and cons in that nature. Uh, but as a culmination in this video, what we want to discuss is even more in depth the features of the mats, what you can get out of them, and the overall value it provides to the customers, and then ultimately end with giving you a Rain or Shine Golf rating of the mats themselves. So with that in mind, let's get started. So as a reminder, the September series so far has focused more on the data of the mats and just some overall feedback on the setup of them in your own studio. And you can find those videos by subscribing to our YouTube channel. As a reminder also, the testing methods, what we did was we had three golfers, one being a scratch handicap, a six handicap, and a 10 handicap, go to a driving range and have a session with an eight iron and a three wood on grass. And then we did the same thing in our studios on the various golf mats and compare the data that way. And again, you can find that on our YouTube channel, but what we're gonna do here with this video is provide customers more with an unbiased feedback on our general feel about the mats themselves. So in this culmination video, we wanna focus more on uh, measurables such as durability, portability, um, stability, value provided to the customers, and at the end, we're gonna give you an overall Rain or Shine Golf rating on those categories and just the mats themselves. Um, to be fully transparent and honest with you, we're not being paid by any of these companies to feature them. The reason we chose these is because they are the most popular mats that we're selling right now to our customers, and that's why we chose to focus on them versus some of the other mat offerings that you can find out there. So with all that in mind, let's dig a little deeper into these mats. So the first category we're going to focus on is going to be durability. Across the board, we felt that each of these mats provided decent lifespans for the users. And speaking more to the fiber-built golf mat, the bristle design of the hitting strip itself uh, provided golfers with longevity that can't be found in other golf mats. We've rated it a 4.5 out of 5, and another positive is that even if over time that sh hitting strip does wear down, customers are able to replace only the hitting strip rather than having to replace the entire unit. What makes the Country Club Elite golf mat durable and long-lasting for customers is the ability to rotate the mat in your space so that you're not hitting golf balls on the same spot every time. We scored the Country Club Elite a 4 out of 5 in the durability category. Finally, the True Strike golf mat, just like the Fiber Built, allows for golfers to replace just the hitting strip when the surface does wear down. The overall frame and design of the mat allows for longer lifespan than those that are stance and hitting pad all in one. We've given the True Strike a 4 out of 5 in the durability category. Moving on to stability of the golf mats, we focused on how secure and stationary the mats stay while in use. In this category, we've given both Fiber Built and True Strike 5 out of 5. Both mats, due to the framing and weight, do not shift or slide during use and can stand the test of heavy use as well. They're great for commercial installs or permanent fixtures in a home. The Country Club Elite scored a, five, a 4 out of 5. If you're permanently fixing the mat to a simulator room, such as bolting it into the ground, as some customers have done, you won't have any issues. However, if you're simply rolling the mat out for use, it can slide and shift around on the floor during your swing. There are options to prevent sliding, such as getting a non-slip mat to place under it. For these reasons, we scored the Country Club Elite 4 out of 5. In terms of portability, we focused on ease of moving the mat around. The Fiber Built and True Strike mats both scored 3.5 out of 5 in this category. These mats are great for those looking to develop a permanent space for their practice area. Once the mats are broken down, they're easy to lift and carry or transfer, but breaking them down does slow down the process. The Country Club Elite mat, due to its design and weight, make for a mat that is easy to change or move if needed. It's a perfect mat for those that have to put away their practice equipment once they're done using it. Accordingly, the Country Club Elite scored a 5 out of 5 on the portability scale. In speaking to the perceived value of the mats, we factored in the price you pay for them related to the other categories we touched on in this review. The fiber-built mat we have in-house at Rain or Shine Golf is the 9x4 Studio Golf Mat. 
The price for this mat is $1,200 and ordering a replacement hitting strip down the line will cost you $250. The design of the mat itself provides customers with a long lasting golf mat and accordingly we scored it a 4 out of 5. At Rain or Shine Golf we have the 5x5 Real Field Country Club Elite. This mat will cost customers $540 and based on its functionality and durability we scored this mat a 5 out of 5 on the value. The True Strike golf mat used in our study was the True Strike Academy golf mat and cost $900. Customers do have the ability to order replacement panels when needed. A replacement hitting strip with a gel insert for the True Strike will cost you $340. Based on the advertised lifespan, durability, and functionality of the mat, we've given it a 4 out of 5 on value. So before we conclude our video with Rain or Shine Golf's final ratings of the mats, uh, we want to recognize that ultimately buying a golf mat comes down to more factors than just what we've provided. Um, it truly is kind of a personal preference and you have to factor in where the mat's going and, and what your use of the mat will ultimately be. Um, we initially wanted to include in our ratings a feel and comfort category, but after doing the testing, all three of us that tested the mats came back with different opinions on that and it truly just reiterated the point that it, the mat is going to feel different for each golfer based on their swing and all the other factors that go into that. Uh, so we did want to touch base on that as well. What we can say is if you're looking for a mat that is more forgiving and softer when using it, uh, we recommend going with the fiber belt mat. The bristle technology allows for you to really hit down and through the ball and the bounce and recoil in the club is significantly less. Um, but to keep in mind with that, hitting down and through the ball, we did notice a higher launch angle due to the ball being hit higher on the club face. If you're looking for a golf mat that is easy to move around and easy to stow away when you're not hitting on your simulator, we definitely recommend going with the Country Club Elite. Uh, it's a great lightweight and portable mat and you're still going to get a good feel on it whenever you're hitting. It's still fairly shock absorbent due to the base that's underneath the hitting surface itself. Another factor that's important to golfers when they're building out their simulators is the ability of using tees. And most of these golf mats will come with tees that you can insert or you can even on the Country Club Elite use a real tee yourself. However, it's harder to get the height that you're wanting and some of those harder plastic tees can be a little bit too um, rough on the bottom of your club face whenever you're hitting golf balls. So something that we recommend is actually using the birdie system and we actually have those on our website. If you go to our website and type in B-I-R-T-E-E-S, uh, you can find a pack of birdies there and they work great on simulators and launch monitors and we really enjoy using those in-house here at Rain or Shine Golf. So now that we've expanded more on these golf mats, we're gonna go over Rain or Shine Golf's final ratings. And these ratings were agreed upon by the individuals that tested the golf mats in-house and this is where we landed. And considering the various categories previously discussed, we are giving the fiber bill a 4.5 out of 5. This is a solid golf mat and while more expensive than others, will last users a long time. The 9x4 we tested on is great for commercial studios and comes with a 300,000 shot guarantee from fiber bill. In our data testing, the fiber built mat most closely aligned it with the data generated from our range session on grass. We offer various sizes on our Rain or Shine Golf website besides just the 9x4 so it's easy for you to find one that fits your space. Moving on to the Country Club Elite, we have landed on a final rating of 4.5 out of 5 as well. What makes this mat rate highly is its portability and value provided to customers. It comes with a three-year manufacturer's warranty, and this is often the mats you'll see installed at country clubs and driving ranges. In data testing, we did notice the Country Club Elite mat saw almost across the board a decrease in backspin which increase carry distance between five and six yards on average. For those seeking a mat that will most closely produce the results of hitting off of actual grass, this would be something to keep in mind. Finally, the True Strike Golf Mat came in with a score of four out of five. The mat tested highly in stability and value provided to its customers. This is a great option for those looking to install a more permanent studio and simulator in their homes. Similar to the Country Club Elite Golf Mat, we noticed a drop in average backspin during testing, which resulted in a noticeable increase in carry distance average. The gel insert under the hitting strip does provide a comfortable feel at impact and reduces shock throughout the club. True Strike offers a one-year warranty with the purchase of the mat. 
In studio, we used the four and a half by six and a half Academy golf mat. However, there are multiple sizes to fit your needs. So that wraps up our September series, and we hope you've gained some valuable information, whether you're looking to buy your first golf mat or replace an existing one. As always, comment below with any feedback or questions that you may have, and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Until next time, keep enjoying golf anytime, rain or shine.